Hello Ocean Heroes, it's Harry again. And you might be wondering, why is it dark and why are you whispering? And this is because I'm on Chumbay Island and I'm just about to introduce you to the largest land crustacean on the planet, the coconut crab. So let's be honest, if I said raise your hands if you're a massive fan of crabs, I'm pretty sure there would be too many digits facing the sky. And maybe it's because they're not furry, they don't make good pets, and they're not particularly cute looking, but they are fascinating. The coconut crabs are scavengers, and although they'll pretty much eat anything, they love coconuts, and they're even willing to climb trees just to get them down. However, across the world their numbers are in decline, as humans destroy their habitats, and they're often used for food, or even in some cases, as fishing bait. For example, some of fishermen, they're using it as a fishing bait. They collect the coconut crumb, crushing or grinding them, putting in fishing cage, like uh, fishing baskets, because the fish like to eat coconut crab. So the fish, they're going to cage or go to the fishing basket, and the fishermen can harvest a lot of fish. So their population, they drop down day, day after day. But here on Chambay Island, they are protected. The rangers patrol the marine park to stop fishermen entering the island and their forest homes are free from deforestation. So here on Chumbe, because we protect, now we see their population coming up very hard. So we have many coconut crab then big. I saw one here, it is 70 centimeters big, this crab. Some people call robber crab. They can steal your things. For example, you keep your, you put your plate of food on the table. If they are around, they're getting smell and coming and take off your plate. Then they're going to their hole to eat. Sometimes when we wake up in the morning, we find our plate, we don't see where are their plate, our plates. So when we go to the hole, we find already in the hole of the coconut crab. That was great and kind of scary at times. Uh, but what I love here about the rangers is that they've done everything they can to protect the environment the crab lives in and to also protect the crabs from humans. So that's why they're so abundant here and so massive. If you like this video about this curious creature, then stay tuned for more because I'm going to be documenting the lesser known, the more bizarre, or the simply beautiful creatures that our ocean has to offer. And of course, please continue to use our search engine to educate yourself more on the topic of coconut crabs. Help us to remove plastic pollution from the ocean and be the ocean hero we know you can be.